Yeah, so there is a, you know, there's this size distribution of asteroids. And, and your question is really, what's the difference between a direct hit, meaning a crater forming impact, and an airburst? And, and so something the size of the Tunguska impactor, if it's made of iron, it will punch a hole through the atmosphere. It'll lose some of its energy to the atmosphere. It'll slow it down a little bit. Maybe pieces will break off, but it will hit the ground at a high enough speed that it'll penetrate the surface and explode underground and blow out an enormous crater. And Meteor Crater is a perfect example of that in Arizona, also called Beringer Crater. Um, and it's more than a kilometer in diameter. Um, and the, the size of the asteroid or the mass of the asteroid was probably very similar to the Tunguska asteroid. The Tunguska asteroid was probably weaker. It was lower density. It came in at a shallower angle. So it lost all its energy and exploded at high altitude. That was an airburst. So the question is, which is worse? And, and the answer really is, it depends on where you are. If you're at ground zero, uh, it's worse to be at meteor crater because you're in the, you're, you're hit, hit, get a direct hit or you're in the crater zone. And, you know, that's unsurvivable. Tunguska, it's probably worse if you're at some distance because it exploded at a high altitude. And the shockwave propagation from a high altitude is more direct. And so there's a much stronger blast wave at a given different uh, distance. So, so, so it, you know, the risk, the risk assessment, you know, in a way depends on how the population is distributed. And, you know, if I lived in a city and somebody said, would you rather have a uh, direct impact or a Tunguska impact overhead, I'd say Tunguska impact, I'd be more likely to survive it if I went down in the basement or in the subway or something. But if I was at a distance and I, and it's like if, if, if uh, something hit 20 kilometers away, would you rather have it be Tunguska or Meteor Crater? Then I'd probably say Meteor Crater um, because then, you know, the shockwave would, would be weaker. Um, there may be debris like ejecta, but again, if I go down in the basement, that may be more survivable. So it, it, the answer is it depends. <laughs> <laughs>